OK, this video is all about the People tab in Google Classroom. You have Stream, Classwork, and People. And in the People tab, this tells you who's connected with your classroom, whether it's teachers, students. And we'll also talk about parent access as well, although it's not really access, but parent communication through Google Classroom. So first things first, the most important thing is getting your students connected. You can get them connected a couple of different ways. Uh, one way is to merely give them an invitation code. That code can be found here as well as in the stream. You'll see that there is a class code right there. And when I click on this, it displays it nice and large and it makes it even larger there, depending on if your students need it. So what you would do is you would have your students go to Google Classroom and they would click on the plus to join a class and then they would put the code in accordingly. So all right, and so I have this in as a student. I'm going to click on Join, and now the student is in. And the student can always get back to all of their classrooms by clicking on Classes and then getting right back into the class. OK, so that's the student side of things. The other way that you can invite students or get students invited, I should say, is you can actually invite them direct. So right here is a plus, and you could actually type in their email address. And within a domain, within a school domain, uh, then what ends up happening is it starts to pull in those email addresses automatically. So if I start putting in some of these, like so, it pulls it in straight from my domain and I can invite that student directly. They will not appear active until they've actually accepted that. And how that would look is the student would then visit classroom and see that there's an option to join right here with a blue button. So once they hit join, then they're good to go. So the next thing that you can keep in mind is that you can also have co-teachers in your class. This is a great way to either have co-teachers or even transfer ownership of a class. So if I hit invite teachers and I put in a teacher's email address and invite, this teacher is now invited at any time I can email that teacher or remove that teacher if need be. So then as soon as a teacher is invited, then they get a button as well that says whether they could accept or decline. Once a teacher has been added, if you refresh your screen here, might require a refresh, then you can see that they're active. And at any time you can email them, remove them, or even make them class owner if that is necessary. Okay, some other things to keep in mind is that with your students, you have the capability of massively emailing your group you can click on your entire class here, or you can select individual students like so, and you can hit email. If you do your entire class and you hit email, what's awesome is that it'll build an email and it'll put them all as BCC, that's blind carbon copy. So that way when you send the email out to all of these individuals and you hit send, then what ends up happening is all of those students receive it, but they don't see each other's email address. And if they try and reply back, they won't accidentally hit reply all because it's not gonna make a difference. The next thing to keep in mind is that's nice is that, yeah, you could hit send from here, but another option is what if you are creating this email and you're just sending a reminder out, but you're not ready to send it yet. You can also schedule send this for a specific time, or I could just pick some of their preloaded ones right there. I'm gonna X out of this. Okay, now if you go over here to the right hand side of a student, you can see that you can email just that student or you can email their guardian. And emailing their guardian just requires that they're invited. And so I already have a guardian invited to this, but you can invite actually more guardians if need be by just putting in their email address. This student does not have one, but either way, guardians can be invited from over here. And you can also remove guardians from over here too if need be. This student in particular does not have one. So I'm going to invite a guardian to give you an idea what this is about. And so let's put in an email address here and invite that parent. Now you can see that the email address pops up. It says that it's invited. That parent would actually receive an email wanting to know whether or not they wanted to activate that account. Now, if the parent never does that and it just keeps saying invited, you can still email all guardians. This is what's kind of cool. You click that button and it pulls up an email. It puts everyone in blind carbon copy. And yeah, I only have one there, but the reason why is because it's the same parent. Okay, so in this case, uh, what you would do is you'd still be able to email everyone. The difference is, is that the parents wouldn't be getting something called guardian summaries. So you can in invite guardians. And when you invite those guardians, it's not that they have access to Google Classroom, it's that they get a summary. I'll show you what I mean. Here's what it shows. 
It shows missing work, upcoming work, and any class activity. So these are the things that are included with Guardian summaries. And here is a sample of one. So it shows things that are missing. It shows things that are due next week. It shows activities in any class that's included in Guardian summaries. And at any time, the parent has the chance to unsubscribe or change their email settings. The parent has the option of choosing between a week or every day. That allows them to have some customization there. So this parent's been invited, but the thing is, is that they never accepted it. And I contacted them and I said, hey, you need to access Guardian Summaries. You need to know what's going on in class. And they say, well, I, I never received that email. So something I can do is I can remove that Guardian, like so, and I can invite them again. And then they'll get that invitation. Once the parent has accepted, it will no longer say invited there. And then you can actively have them involved with Guardian Summaries. Any students that need to be removed, you can easily remove them by clicking on them. Clicking on this down arrow, you can remove them or you can even mute them. That's a pretty powerful thing. So if I have this student that is no longer in my class or somehow accidentally got in my class, then I have the option of removing them. Like Another thing to keep in mind is with muting them, you won't be able to participate in a lot of activities if you involve conversation taking place in classroom. But if you have that student that just really struggles with the temptation of not using classroom appropriately and using it as their sounding board for various things, then what you can do is mute them. And when you do so, they can still submit work. They can't reply to classmates' work and they can't comment or post. After you mute them though, it will show this little symbol here showing that they're muted and you are able to go ahead and unmute them as needed. And that, in a nutshell, is the People tab.